Good morning, fourth grade online learners. Welcome to May the 3rd and uh, 2021 science class with me, Mr. Monzo. We have Mr. Casper's class and we are learning about stars and galaxies today. So I'm going to read the lesson and if you have your book at home, we're on page D76. You can read along with me. Yes, do you have a question? Um, we, we have 19 days of school left as of today. We'll probably have two or three more science lessons to take up about two or three more weeks. Okay, the sun and other stars. The universe is made up of all the stars, galaxies, planets, and moons in space. So we are part of something much smaller called a galaxy. There are many galaxies, millions and billions of stars, and our sun is a star. When you see stars twinkling in the night sky, do you ever wonder what stars are made of? A star is a huge ball of very hot gases that gives off light, heat, and other kinds of energy. Some of the ways stars can be classified are by their size, color, brightness, and temperature. Stars can shine for billions of years. So our sun will shine for billions of years. The sun is a star that is both medium in its size and its brightness. Many other stars are larger and brighter than our sun. Why does the sun look so much larger and brighter than any other star? The reason is that the sun is much closer to earth than any other star. Light from the sun takes eight minutes to reach Earth. Light from the next nearest star takes over four years to reach Earth. So the other stars are very far away, guys. Light years away. If it, if it only takes our sun eight minutes for its energy to get here, and the next closest star is four years for it to get here, there's other stars, and thank goodness they're far away because we don't need any more heat. Might just burn up Earth if, the, if we had another sun. Yes, Nathan. So, uh, basically, how the, how the world is going to end, when the sun starts to run out of fuel, it's going to grow bigger. And the earth is just going to go boom. Probably, but that's <laughs> billions of years from now. <laughs> yeah. So on this page, we have all kind of different stars here, guys. There's a red star, a red giant, a super giant, an orange star. Our sun is a yellow star. We have blue stars, white stars, blue-white stars, a white dwarf. So many different types of stars, guys. There's not just the one type. But our star, which is called the sun, is perfect for Earth. Now, guys, when you put all the stars together and you connect the dots, not all of them, but a group of them, it's called a constellation. And sometimes people say constellations look like animals. In this case, Ursa Major is a constellation that looks like a bear. This is not really a bear. It's a group of stars and somebody connected the dots. It looks like a cat. <laughs> but some people thought that not only is it a bear, but it had powers. It could affect the uh, weather patterns of the Earth. It really can't. And we would say, don't, don't get this, the constellations mad. Bad things can happen. It's not true. It's just people with their legends and their imaginations. Have you ever looked up at the clouds and thought that they looked like objects or animals? Yes. Perhaps you have seen pictures in groups of stars. Throughout history, people have made up stories about the pictures they imagined were formed by groups of stars. A constellation is a group of stars that forms a pattern in the night sky. One well-known constellation is called Ursa Major, which means Great Bear. Some of us in Earth, some of the stars in Ursa Major make up another group of stars called the Big Dipper. Have you ever viewed a bright star in the early evening? If you look for it again later that night, it will be in a different position. The stars do not move. They appear to move because Earth is rotating. As Earth rotates on its axis, you see different parts of the sky. The stars appear to move across the sky during the night. The stars are in the sky during the day as well, but the brightness of the sunlight makes it impossible for you to see them. So guys, many years ago, my cousin, who used to live next door to me, bought a telescope. 
and he was looking at Mars. I walked out, I said, Dan, what are you doing? He said, I'm looking at Mars. And so about 15 minutes later, I came out and he did not move the telescope. When I looked through it, I did not see Mars. Does anybody know why? Ellison. Is someone rotating at 15 minutes? What's that? Is someone rotating at 15 minutes? Well, Earth was rotating. Nah. So 15 minutes later, that thing was just off a little bit more to the one side. He said, just move your telescope a little bit, you'll find it. Sure enough, I found it. But <clears throat> if you sit there and look at it, and you go take a break and you come back, it's not going to be in the same spot. The Earth is spinning. So we're just seeing the stars at different moments. He thought that was funny. I was a teacher and didn't realize that. Okay, then we have a group of stars, and this group is called the Milky Way galaxies you know that the sun the planets and the moons are part of the solar system but did you know that the solar system is part of a larger group it is part of a galaxy a galaxy is a huge system or group of stars held together by gravity the solar system is located in a galaxy called the milky way the milky way galaxy is spiral shaped scientists classify galaxies into three types by their size I mean, I'm sorry, by their shape, spiral, oval, round, and irregular. The universe is made up of all matter and energy there is, including all the galaxies and their stars, planets, and moons. So we are part of a galaxy, but the galaxy is part of the universe. There are billions of galaxies in the universe. The size of the universe is unknown. Scientists believe that it is expanding, growing outward in every direction. So we think that it's growing this way, the universe. But we also think that someday it's going to come back this way. And then Earth's going to go kaboom. Yeah. yeah, big kaboom. But here's the thing, guys. It's still expanding. And it's been expanding for billions of years. Do we have anything to worry about? No. No. And neither do our children or our grandchildren or our great-grandchildren or our great-great-grandchildren. Yeah. Times a billion. They have nothing to worry about. And it's just a theory that it's going to come back together. That could be wrong. Maybe it's just going to always keep spreading out. Yeah. But people think because, scientists think because of gravity it's going to come together. But then the Earth's going to get too wide. <laughs> it's going to stretch down. Someday we're going to have a problem. But it's going to be flat. Yeah. People, I mean... If you live a long time, guys, you might live 100 years. We're talking about billions of years. Okay? Billions of hundreds of years. So we have nothing to worry about. All right. Fourth grade, online learners. We hope you enjoyed the lesson on the universe. And we uh, may or may not have a quiz this week. It just depends on how the science PSSAs go in fourth grade. We are not going to have science tomorrow. And Friday, we are not in school. Okay? So, watch Google Classroom and you'll see, you won't see anything again until Wednesday, and eventually we will um, have another science class, but maybe a quiz, maybe not. All right, fourth grade, we will see you Wednesday for the website summary. Bye-bye.